Hey guys, Trinket here. Today I'm going to show you how to download slash modify content for Trains New Era, Trains 12, Trains 2009, Trains 2010, Trains 2006. But Trains 2004 uses a different type of content manager, so dealing content with that game is a little bit difficult, but I can make a separate tutorial for that. But today is just TS12. TS, A New Era, you know, those games. Sorry, that was cringy. Uh, so we're going to open up our TS12 game and wait for that to load. So after that loads, you have your content manager opened. What you want to do from there is go to any train sites. I will have links to those in the description. You see how there's all of these? You can download any of these. Let's say you've already downloaded one, and it will be right here. So all you do, drag it into the content manager, and it will download. If you're wondering why I'm making such a simple tutorial, is because I have a friend that wants to know how you go about downloading content. So that downloaded very fast, because... Or, oh, I just have to check if I was recording. I'm sorry about that. Um, so that downloaded pretty fast. So we're going to go... Uh, if you want to edit a whistle, or I kind of clicked on it without telling. If you want to edit a whistle, you go edit. And then it will say edit and explore. Edit and, con edit and content creator plus. We want content creator plus. So we're going to click that. And... It will pop up. Let's say we want an NYC 5 chime. So we're going to select our NYC 5 chime. And we're going to select an engine sound. Let's say we want NYC Niagara. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that, guys. And then we want the engine spec. Let's say we want this one. It's the same thing. And uh, let's see if the smoke has a, so it's using a texture file, but if this had a little cooid in here, you could actually select the texture for, so now if you, if you're done editing, you just want to click yes, and it has been written. So now you commit it, and that's really all there is to it. So now, we're going to test and see if we have our engine sound. Alright, we are in game with the NYC K11, and let's see if we have our sounds. I'll give it a chuff to see if we got our... So that actually is a good demonstration of uh, what shouldn't happen. If it's doing that, you hear both chuffs in there and one of them's doing it really fast. That's something that I forgot to mention. Here, I'll show you how to fix that right now. Alright, so if it's doing that, what you want to do is you want to go here and edit in Explorer. And you see how it says sound here? You got your chuffs there. So what you want to do is you can either delete this whole folder, or you can just delete the chuffs. Which I'm just going to delete the chuffs, because I kind of like the dynamo. And then commit it, and then that'll stop those other chuffs. But you notice how it was chuffing way too fast? There's a reason for that. If you click, um, if you do it on a different engine that has a different wheel arrangement, it will chuff too fast, so... What you're going to want to do is wait for this to load and go in your drivers and is this the drivers? I think, I think this is the drivers. Those are the pilot truck. That has a direct drive. You want to uncheck the box where it has a direct drive. 
and here you want to see this is the trailing truck you want to uncheck the box and now if these have a direct drive let's see if they have a direct drive these are the regular drivers and they do not have a direct drive so to add one you just go here and check the box so then you can uh, select all of these and commit it and that should be it and then you can test it and it should work all right it should be fixed now but I just realized Trains a New Era it doesn't have Content Creator Plus, so I don't know how that will work. So, let's give it a whirl again. And let's see, let's see if the chops line up. And they do. Now over here you can see we're getting a script error. I usually just ignore those, but if you click close it'll go away. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.